At the start of July 2021, GitHub announced GitHub Copilot, your AI pair programmer. Essentially, it is an AI-powered autocompleter for your code and functions. In this video, I'm going to show you on how it works with Flutter and Dart and JavaScript and the pros and cons of this GitHub Copilot. And lastly, I will answer your question, whether it will replace us developers or Flutter developers. So let's get started with the first one on how it works with Flutter and JavaScript. So I have with me here a simple Flutter project that has a main dot dot file and a main dot js file. So I'm going to start off with, so I'm going to create a simple function that is called calculate days between dates and then the parameters as the begin and the end. And now with that, you could see that it has suggested the different code in order for us to calculate the days between two dates object. And then if I want to use this suggestion, I can just press tab and it auto completes this whole function without me thinking on what variables I have to create and the different logic behind it. That's really cool. So let's head over to the Dart file and we're going to do the same thing. So inside our Dart file, we can just press enter and then it will suggest a line of code. And then in order for us to use the suggested line of code, we can press tab. But the thing is that for the GitHub Copilot, it gives us what we see here as the JavaScript line of code. There is no date object inside the Dart or Flutter framework. So this essentially is not valid. So you probably know where my cons is for this GitHub Copilot. So another cool thing that I want to show you is before we create this calculate this between dates, we are able to find out the different suggestions. As you can see, there is a UI feature that allows us to go to the next suggestion, or you could see there's a shortcut key over here in order for us to go to the next suggestion. And if we really want to see all of the different suggestions, we can open the co-pilot and this will open up a new tab with the different suggestions or solutions according to the function that we are trying to create. And then you could see all of the different functions that is available inside this co-pilot tab. And then if you seem that, okay, maybe this is the perfect solution, we can click on this accept solution and we will add into the function that we are trying to create. Sadly, for Dart, it is not that simple, but for JavaScript, it is. So the reason why I create a JavaScript file is because it is more impressive inside a JavaScript file than a .dart file. So what if I am not creating a function that describes exactly what we want inside the function body? For example, if I were to create a function that's called process and we want to find all the images without alternate text and give them a red border. So this is another feature of GitHub Copilot. It can read the comments and create the function body for us. And as you can see over here, it suggested this block of code in order for us to add in a solid red box around an image. And then we can just accept it accordingly. So it created the function body for us for our simple function that's called process. So this process is pretty vague in terms of describing the function, but with the comments, GitHub Copilot manages to create a function body according to the comments describing what the function is doing. So let's try in our Dart file and maybe we can create a simple stateless widget, for example, a video screen. And then you could see that it has created a class video stateless widget. And then with our video constructor with the override of our build method, and then it returns a new text called video. What about a video screen with scaffold button? Let's try it again. 
So right now you can see that there is some scaffold with an app bar with a text video and the action has an icon button with the icons dot arrow back and then when on press we are transitioning to a camera which is great and then if we were just to click on the different suggestion you can see that it is kind of working as we want it to be so inside icon we don't have an icons arrow back so maybe put in a camera icon instead and then for this we don't have this transition to function and we don't have this camera object as well so for flutter use case it is kind of there but we still need to add in specific stuff so now we have seen the demo on the javascript and flutter or dart programming language the next thing is i'm going to show you the pros and cons of using the github copilot so for the pros it drastically increases the productivity for developers what we usually take a few minutes or even a few hours to think about for a solution it takes github copilot a few seconds to guess and search on the solutions that you're trying to do so that's really really good the next pros is that you can find other solutions or suggestions better than what you initially thought so this can increase the learning opportunity for you as a developer and then this can increase your skills as a developer or flutter developer and lastly if you are trying to write in an unknown framework called language it eases of you coding in into an unfamiliar territory of tech so for example as flutter developers if you want to write cloud functions in typescript it makes it easier for you to write certain functions as well so with that said if there is pros then there's usually cons so for the cons is the first one is that it's not beginner friendly so you might think this will be good for beginners but the thing is you need someone to understand what code that has been auto completed for you so i would say this is very useful for experienced developers who have experienced more than one type of language but if you're a beginner i don't think this tool will actually benefit you then for the second one as you might have seen earlier is that it is not good for young tech frameworks so frameworks such as flutter does not have a huge data set of files and the suggestions that it gives can be incorrect old deprecated which can be counterproductive so the ultimate question is that will it replace developers well the answer is no because we still need developers to maintain the code and to understand it as well so every situation and business use case needs is unique and i would say that this will make developers even more desirable with a co-pilot as it makes your productivity increases and the thing is that if your productivity increases that means you can push more features test and iterate faster and this means that it can benefit the business which brings in more money so tech is still a high learning curve subject the same as how hard it is to learn physics maths or even medicine throughout human history these things or this difficulty of learning these kind of subjects never change but doing using the knowledge that you have gets simpler but learning it or understanding how to do it remains the same so this means that even though there is github copilot you will still need to understand how the code runs what the code will do to your code base and how to understand it that it will affect and how it can affect your business or your app or your project with the new code inside even if you're a newbie developer or with no experience in developing i don't think this github copilot will actually replace a developer so that's about it if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want more of this video subscribe down below and comment down if you think that this github copilot will be useful and will it help in the long run stay safe and all the best bye bye